Good evening, I'm Brian Reagan. This is Tyler Kelly. And we welcome you to Twilight Talks. Tonight we're in the book of Revelation, chapter 14, and we're going to pick up verses 8 through 13. Tyler. And another angel followed, saying, Babylon is fallen, is fallen, that great city, because she has made all nations drink of the wine of the wrath of her fornication. Then a third angel followed them, saying with a loud voice, If anyone worships the beast in his image and receives his mark on his forehead or on his hand, he himself shall also drink of the wine of the wrath of God, which is poured out full strength into the cup of his indignation. He shall be tormented with fire and brimstone in the presence of the holy angels and in the presence of the Lamb. And the smoke of their torment ascends forever and ever, and they have no rest day or night, who worship the beast in his image and whoever receives the mark of his name. Here is the patience of the saints. Here are those who keep the commandments of God and the faith of Jesus. And then I heard a voice from heaven saying to me, Right, blessed are the dead who die in the Lord from now on. Yes, says the Spirit, that they may rest from their labors and their works follow them. All right. So first of all, um, Babylon the Great is uh, what's talked about here. Not talking about Babylon in what we would call modern day Iraq. Um, this is referring to Rome in, apop in apocalyptic language. Babylon is always the antithesis of Jerusalem. Now, some of you go, and to who? Jerusalem traditionally in scripture generally represents the city of God. Babylon represents the city of man, the city of Nimrod, the, the city of the devil. That's generally what it represents. You go back all the way to Genesis and where did the Lord confuse a language? At Babel. Babel, Babylon became, you know, same, same, same there. So, so Babylon and Jerusalem are, are ever a battle, especially in prophetic and apocalyptic language. So, uh, you know, here he's talking about Rome, uh, and Rome makes all the nations drink the wine of the wrath of her fornications. She exports evil. Other nations who didn't have the evil of Rome by the time Rome gets done with them, now they participate in the same evil as Rome. You say, no, this is... It's no different than America. <gasps> all kinds of stuff that America exports all around the world that wasn't an issue for most countries till 40, 50, 60 years ago. Some countries as recently as 20 or 30 years. But man, some of those places, you know, they took to it like, a, like more than a duck to water. And they're better at being American than we are now. And so that imagery... Um, those who worship the beast in its image. Okay, first of all, let me say this. The COVID-19 vaccine is not the mark of the beast. Okay? So, if you're seeing that on billboards, just please ignore it. The mark of the beast, first of all, you can't call it the mark of the beast when it's an injection, intramuscular, when the scripture says it's a sign on on the hand or on the forehead you, you, you don't get to do that number one number two the point of the sign of the beast is that you've transferred your allegiance back to Rome back to the system of world government from the kingdom of God back to the kingdoms of this world that's the point of receiving the mark of the beast and let's be very clear, different nations at various times throughout history have put markers on people so that some could buy and sell, so some could not buy and sell. It was an issue of whether or not you could prove your loyalty and allegiance. And the Lord's point here, and this is the big thing, verse 12, here's a call for the endurance of the saints, those who keep the commandments of God and hold fast to the faith of Jesus. If you live and you die faithful in the Lord, 
Everything you do has eternal value. Okay? And so, you know, I'm, I'm not a fan of all this COVID stuff. I'm not a fan of all these forced vaccinations. Yeah, I believe all that stuff's wrong. No government, no government should ever be able to tell free citizens that they must submit to certain medical processes. The Nuremberg, what came out of Nuremberg, that was one of the basic human rights, is that people have the right to refuse medical things and the government has no right to perform or enforce medical procedures or processes on people that if those people refuse it, then, then that government restricts their freedom. So 75 years ago that, that this came up and it was declared a human right because of Nuremberg and the Nazis. So no, I'm not, you're not gonna hear me go, hey, everyone should know. So please don't watch this video and go, that preacher, he's telling us take the mark of the beast. Preacher ain't telling you to take the mark of the beast. I'm telling you COVID-19 vaccines are not the mark of the beast. That's not what Revelation's talking about. And you do more damage to the kingdom of God and the credibility of the word of God when you say stuff like that because you're wrong according to the scripture. And all it does is it hurts your testimony as a Christian when you want to speak the word of God and expect people to take you seriously on other topics. So COVID-19 vaccine, not the mark of the beast. Travel passports, not the mark of the beast. No. Other thoughts, my brother? No, sir. All right. With Adam Brian Reagan, this is Tyler Kelly. We bid you good night.